subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates. Hello everyone, it's Ashish Johan from Ashfair Creation. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all guys are doing extremely well. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you, edit, how you can edit your travel photographs in Lightroom. So before getting to the video, just press the like button on this video so that it will motivate me to make more videos and presets just like this for you guys for free. Also follow me on Instagram and also if you still haven't subscribed to our channel, then do subscribe and hit the notification icon also just press the like button on this video and also you know log on to our website that is www.astrocreations.com from there you can download backgrounds camera reset lightroom preset lut's pngs and every kind of photo editing as well as video editing stuff just for free also follow me on instagram let's jump to the beautiful world of lightroom let's open the lightroom and let's take one example image for our editing so let's go to the library just click on the import button from there let's import one photograph just browse the bag uh, photograph from your computer from here let's just uh, select this this photograph now just click on the import button now go to the develop tab now here is our photograph here you can see your photograph is very much you know brightness and overexposed so we need to just reduce the exposure from the image we so just reduce the exposure to minus 60 or something like that and you can add some contrast to get a deafness on the image now here you can just decrease some highlights because it is already too much you know exposed so we will just reduce the highlights now here you can you can see the difference of the shadows if you want more shadows you can add but uh, let's just increase some shadows to plus 55 and here we will just reduce the whiteness to minus 10 here you can increase the blackness if you want otherwise you can just decrease some to minus 10 or something like that now increase the clarity to plus 10 increase the vibrance now the next thing would be we're gonna do is just to change the hue of the color so let's go to the calibration tab move this uh, blue primary color to you know kind of teal color to minus 50 and just take this one to you know kind of a reddish tone and increase the saturation of this and from here you can just play with the colors of the hue let's just keep this as 80 increase the saturation of this color now here from the HSL tab select the hue and select the red color and just move it to kind of you know minus 18 and make the orange color to you know reddish tone or just you know make a increase the saturation of this and go to the yellow tone and just make it to kind of you know minus 51 or something like that go to the green tone you can play with the green if you want if you want a green color you can just make it to 67 now go to the aquaton and you can just play with the aquaton make it to minus 10 let's adjust the blue color of this to plus 33 make the purple as it is plus 11 also the magenta color to plus 50 or something like that now the next thing would be we gonna do is just add some high before adding the highlights we gonna add the shadows in the image so it is very much important to pick a beautiful shadow and a perfect shadow which is you know actually very much helpful in your photographs so just select the shadows from the image 
let's take this gold shadow so you can see the difference make the saturation to plus 20 and let's add some highlights let's add this highlight or two kind of you know greeny stone which will you know make your photograph to look very much amazing So here you can increase or decrease the saturation but just make the saturation to plus 10. So finally here we have done this our process you can add the vignette if you want to add. Just a little bit would be pretty much perfect. So finally here we have edited our travel photo for your you know travel blogger if you are a travel blogger you can just edit your photograph in this way. So you can see the difference here is the before and here is the after a huge difference can be seen in the photograph and this would be the perfect photo to you know edit your image and create a wonderful profile for your instagram so you can just if you want to save this preset you can just click on this email plus icon and just name it as avc or whatever travel a1 and just create a click create just click on the create so here is your travel preset which you can use in other photograph also now if you want to save this image all you have to do is just right click on it and select the export and just click on the export button so it will automatically save that image in your desktop folder that is untitled export so here you can see the photograph that is here the photograph is really looking very much amazing now you can use this preset in other all on other photograph also so let's just uh, select the photo go to the library and let's again select the import button just browse the photograph from our pc let's take this image click on the import button go to the develop tab now just click on this here is our travel preset just click on that and you can see the difference your photograph is really turned into very much amazing this preset is generally used to you know edit the outdoor photographs which is taken in the sunlight so use this preset during the day photograph you can also you know reduce or increase or decrease the exposure from here anytime if you want to decrease the exposure you can just decrease it it is up to you but this preset can be used to edit your travel photos very quickly so guys i hope you all have enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed then just press the like button on this video so that you know it will motivate me to make more videos and presets just like this for you guys and if you still have not subscribed to our channel then do subscribe and hit the notification icon to get latest updates also visit our website that is www.asfishreasons.com from there you can download backgrounds camera preset lightroom preset loose pngs and other every kind of photo editing stuff just for free so you can just start download it from there also you know follow me on instagram so guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video